All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new vlog on a brand new channel. Andy, life in video. So I have some major announcements to make as involves this channel and the future of Andy Japandi. So that said, let's get into it. And first thing I want to announce is the future of Andy Japandi. So I decided to move all of the Andy Japandi content over to its original channel because I managed to get the handle for Andy Japandi. That's the new YouTube sort of terminology for like custom URLs. It used to be custom URLs, now it's handles, whatever. Um, but I managed to get the handle for Andy Japandi on the previous channel that was Andy Japandi. So I decided to move all the Andy Japandi stuff over to that channel. Well, with a caveat, because instead of moving all of the individual videos like I would normally do when doing channel migration, I decided to instead just move over the Andy Japandi related compilations. So if you guys still wanna see all the old Andy Japandi stuff, the individual videos are still on this channel, but if you just want that marathon experience, they're over on the Andy Japandi channel. And moving forward, that's where all of my Japan themed content is gonna be. So youtube.com slash at Andy Japandi. That's the place to be. So I just wanna say thanks to everybody who's tuned into this channel for as long as you have for tuning in for the Japan content, things like that. But that's gonna be over at the new channel. It was actually the original Andy Japandi channel that I started many years ago when I first came back to Japan. I wanted to make it its own dedicated channel. So we got it back, baby. And that's where all the new content's gonna be moving forward. So hope you guys subscribe, stay tuned for more. Now, as for this channel, might be wondering what the heck is going on with the uh, the branding for this channel. So, this channel has been renamed Andy Life in Video. And I actually did this channel name a while ago, but didn't really get the time to sit down and work on a logo or any of this other stuff until yesterday. And now they got the new logo, new cover photo and all those kinds of stuff. I think it's time to make it official and relaunch this channel as Andy Life in Video. Now what this channel is going to be about is it's going to cover basically like personal vlogs, personal life stuff, updates, things like that. And it's also going to be a place where I can experiment with new types of content. Uh, like I said, I have a whole bunch of content ideas written down and just some other things that I've been brainstorming over these past few weeks. and. I was just thinking like, man, I really want to, to make a video on this subject or make a video reacting to this or doing that. But it's like, well, you know, my audience is mostly here for like Japan content and it's really not gonna work and just, you know, stuff like that. So that's why I decided to separate church and state, if you will, and spin off Andy Japandi into its own thing and then have this channel open for personal life stuff as well as um, just experiments in creating that quality content. And obviously I know they're not all gonna be hits. You guys aren't all gonna like everything. They can't all be winners, right? But I think it's important to experiment if you're a creative individual like myself. And who knows, maybe what you learn in making something might lead to something else. Or you might be able to incorporate little bits from that failure into a new project that succeeds. I mean, just looking back, um, my Let's Play days as Andy Cade, I even had my own dedicated channel, but that's long been terminated for reasons. I don't even know, YouTube didn't give me one. But just what I learned from making Let's Play videos in that brief period of time has really carried over into what I do even now. Just, you know, really favoring higher quality production, learning how to edit audio. That's a major one that I learned while I was doing Let's Plays. And yeah, you know, it's just even, even though the channel itself and the videos themselves didn't really get me anywhere, view-wise or subscriber-wise or any of that, and the channel ended up getting terminated anyway, um, just what I learned from making that content still sticks with me, even today. So you can still succeed even from your failures. That's what I'm trying to say, <laughs> so. 
and then edit with Andy, still edit with Andy. I recently posted a new tutorial on that channel, so I'm hoping to, you know, make tutorials for that channel and then some other types of content, you know, geared more towards like freelancing, uh, some creator economy type stuff, you know, things like that. Just, you know, when I can, when I'm able, I'm not too busy making content for other people and uh, living a life whenever I can. Um, we'll be doing all that. So, yeah, that's the, uh, the major announcements as far as channel changes, content changes, things like that. So, with that said, let's get into some personal news. So, as you guys know, I quit my job beginning of February this year, 2023. We and I've still been on the job hunt. We're going on about what, two, three weeks now, something like that. And I've gotten a fair bit of interviews, actually. So this is around the, the time that Japan likes to hire. It's just peak hiring season for newbies. And so I've been getting a lot more interviews than I normally have been, where I just send out my application. It just kind of goes out in the ether, you know, like I don't either don't hear anything back from recruiters or they just give me the, well, you know, we like you, but you're just not qualified. So, gone buddy, Michelle, Andy San. Overall, I'm feeling pretty positive about things moving forward. You know, especially getting more interviews. That means that there's, you know, something good is bound to happen at some point, right? And it feels good, man, you know? And also, with the weather starting to slowly warm up and stuff like that there's going to be a lot more events being held out here as well so i've been going to a lot more social gatherings hanging out with friends and stuff like that i was even on a couple of live streams just people going around yogi park and uh live streaming them and they came and interviewed us so i thought that was kind of interesting i was just sitting there eating a uh like a chicken wrap and uh, they were just coming hot all you know just interviewing us and stuff like that so that was kind of cute and yeah just looking forward to uh getting out more making more vids and uh stuff like that you know and once i get the uh the new job lined up then i'll be able to put out content on a more regular basis and won't feel like i have to you know just be on my computer all the time looking for freelance gigs, looking for new jobs, things like that, because I already have a job, or at least I will once I get the job, you know. So, and it'll just allow me to create content on a more uh, consistent basis, because I noticed even when I was uh, stationed in New Koska and was working like 12, 15 hour shifts a day, I would still get content out pretty regularly. And I think it's because I had like a schedule, you know, like every, Weekend, if I didn't have duty or if we weren't going underway or whatever, I would just go out to Tokyo or some other part, Kanagawa, or whatever, make a video. And then during the week when I'd come home, I would edit it a little piece by piece back in the day and just have a video up once a week, you know? And I think that was a, that was a pretty good system, you know? But I noticed once I started focusing more on, on freelance work, especially as regular work started to, to dry up, um, it really changed my relationship with uh, making content. And I definitely want to get into this a bit more because I think it is a pretty interesting, uh, I'll be a, a little bit of a cautionary tale in wanting to make content full-time, well, full-time, you know? Um, so I think we'll save it for another time as far as getting into the deep dives but yeah man overall i'd say things are definitely on the up and up we're definitely gonna be getting a new job very soon hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> and uh, we'll be able to move forward to the next piece of business so with all that said guys this is andy sign up for now and as always forever we'll see you next time Catch you later, guys. Bye. Simple life and happier times still to pass. Memories of mine. Shooting stars in the pale moonlight. Morning rainbows 
Make it all.